Hey, it's Archdad, and I'm going to show you how to install DaVinci Resolve 20 on Arch Linux. This is a clean install, so I'm starting from scratch. So the first thing we're going to want to do is sudo pacman-s, opencl nvidia and CUDA. I'm on a system with an NVIDIA GPU. If you have AMD or something else, search for that opencl uh, specific to your maker, but otherwise, if you're on NVIDIA, just do as I just did there. Once that's installed, also going to install Xorg and the Plasma X11 session. You might be wondering why. Well, on this clean install of Arch, everything is at default and it comes set to Wayland at first. So we'll just bring that up with fast fetch just so we can see that it is Wayland on here. Yeah. So window manager, Kwin Wayland. It does work on Wayland, but I know that this install method works hundred percent of the time, I'm not saying it doesn't work with Wayland, but I know it works hundred percent of the time on X 11. So log out of your session and then log back in again as an X 11 session. And you can see here, and now that I've done that shows up as an X 11 session. And you do that where you, when you're entering your username and password at your login, there should be a drop down that lets you choose between Wayland or X 11. Next up, if we run NVIDIA dash SMI, we'll see that our driver version is up to date and it's showing the GPU as it should. So it's on there and it's ready to utilize it. If you get an error here, try a different NVIDIA driver, but otherwise it should work just straight out of it. Quickly there, I just made a directly called repos because when I start installing everything, I want to try and keep it tidy on my system. So I make a repos directory and I just put everything inside of there. Then install git, we have pacman, and then we're gonna git clone into aur.archlinux.org slash yay.git. Yay is going to be what we're gonna to use to install things from the AUR, which is the Arch user repository. So cd into yay and then make package dash, dash si enter your password and it's going to install yay for us. There we go. Yay is installed. So now we're going to get clone again. This time into AUR archlinux.org slash davinci hyphen resolve hyphen studio. So there's a repository already that's going to help us with a lot of this progress process, I mean. So we're not going to go to it yet, but we're going to install a browser because I don't have one. The default install didn't give me one, so I'm going to install LibreWolf. So we're going to burn through this pretty quickly here just to get it up onto the system because without a browser, there's something that we just cannot do and we'll do that right now. So we're gonna search for DaVinci Resolve support. And when you go to the support center, you'll be able to find the downloads for DaVinci Resolve or DaVinci Resolve Studio. It's gonna be Studio in this case because that's what I have a license for. So just scroll down on the left here until you find the most recent one, click on Linux and then download only and then save it to your download folder or wherever you prefer to save that to. We're going to move it later anyway. So just remember where you're downloading it to. And while that's going, we can work on a couple of things while we wait for that download to complete. So head over to your DaVinci Resolve Studio directory that was created. 
and then remove that file pkg build. We don't need that. That's the one that's currently in there, but unfortunately it's not working right now uh, with the most recent updates. So we're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna go back to our browser and go to github.com. I'm gonna put this entire address uh, for you in the description section of this video. So you don't have to try and read that if that's too tiny on your screen. But basically this person here has created a new package build that will work with the latest updates to Arch. Uh, what happened before is the old one didn't, it had a couple of errors and I battled it nonstop and couldn't get it to work, but this person figured it out. So kudos to Mufflone or however you say that. So copy this and now head back to your terminal and then sudo nano package build and then paste that into there. So control shift V works for that. And then scroll up to the top and you'll see that they've already got the version set correctly and they already have the hash for, or is hash the right word? Anyway, the 256 sum for that version of DaVinci Resolve. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that now over into that DaVinci Resolve Studio folder that we created within repos or was created for us within repos. And then when we list our files, we can see that it's there. So copy that file name and then SHA256 sum and then that file name. It's going to generate that same code that you see within the package build. So you could skip this step if you want to, but if you want just for your own satisfaction, just to know that it's the same thing, yeah, you can run that and compare it to what you see in that package build that we just downloaded, or I guess pasted into our, our package build file on our local system. So it generated that long code there. And then you can see over here in the SHA-256 sums, it's the same thing. If it's not the same thing, copy and paste what you get in your terminal into that document. Otherwise this is the system, it's just not going to work for you. So you have to make sure that those are exactly the same. Now we have to use yay again to get DaVinci Resolve Studio. In the AUR there's, um, I just select one right here. In the AUR, someone's put together a package to get all the dependencies for you. And I just do none, none, the defaults on this. And it, there's an error right there. We don't need to worry about that because that's trying to get an old version of it. And we don't want the old version. We, we have the new version downloaded already. So by running this, we're going to get all of the uh, dependencies and everything installed that we needed. Because if you try and run make package without doing this step, it's just going to error out because there's so many dependencies that it's looking for during the install process. I think it's unique to Arch that it needs this many steps. Cause I know on a lot of other distros, you can just download the zip file and run it and it should work for you. But this is the way in Arch to, to make it work. So another error at the end, it said it couldn't download that, but we don't care because that's the old one. We're going for 20.2.2 .2 right now at the time of recording. So now inside of our directory, we can see we've got our zip file. And we've updated that package build. So we're going to go make pkg hyphen si. And you can see that it's already referenced 20.2.2, .2, which is exactly what we want to be doing right now. So it's not looking for 20.2.1 any longer. It's going off of the correct version. After validation, everything passed. Now it's extracting the sources. And I'm going to speed this up a lot because this is a slower process and there's a lot that's going to happen here.
enter your password again. Proceed with installation for 20.2.2. All right, and we've got it now. Resolve is there. This is great news. But I've seen this before where you click on it and it doesn't work, but I'm gonna show you right here now that it will work. You can click on that icon if you want to, or you can just type it into the terminal here. Nice thing about typing it into the terminal is you'll see any error messages that might pop up. But as you can see, we're in. DaVinci Resolve 20.2. So we got the initial startup steps it's going to go through I'm just going to check just go with the defaults for now and ready to go now here's one thing that i got hung up on for quite a while and maybe you have or not as well too but when you enter your license key Just gonna enter mine here quickly and make sure that I've entered it correctly. When you click on activate, it's gonna try, but it doesn't work, it's gonna fail. And it's just a permissions issue that doesn't allow that to happen. So go back to your terminal and open up a new tab because we that other one is still running it and go sudo chown dash capital r dollar sign user colon dollar sign user slash opt slash resolve slash sorry period license and enter And that's going to fix the permission. So now when we go back and click on activate again, it works. Let's continue and watch this thing fire up. There we go. DaVinci Resolve 20 installed and operational on Arch Linux. So you can see in the date there, it's October 30th. 20.2.2 .2 is the most recent as of October 30th. And it's working just fine under Arch. Hope you enjoyed that and hope it helped you install it. Any questions, drop them in the comments.